Hey, Orange One here. We're going to be playing some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Don't worry, the game does have audio. It's just the intro screen doesn't. <laughs> so we're going to be playing. Um, this is my third time doing like a series on YouTube. So I'm assuming if you're familiar with the channel that you know this game. But if not, we're going to be playing this like open world survival game. It's open source. Um, so the, it's called Dark Days Ahead. There's all these different mods that you can have that are written by basically the people who are writing the game, which are all volunteers. And, you know, I have been playing with PK's rebalancing, but it isn't really being maintained. Um, so I'm not going to do that this time. And honestly, the game has changed a lot since I last played. I took like a month or two off. And so I'm a little bit worried about installing too many mods and whatnot. And I will have plenty to learn, essentially. Um, so yeah. Um, then we also have the blacklist. Yeah, I think that we're gonna ha just keep things. Um, we're gonna have disable NPC needs because that just makes it more fun, honestly. <laughs> That's funny. Um, stats through kills. Oh, I haven't seen that one. That sounds way overpowered. Ooh, actually, I kind of, that sounds good to me. Also limiting my bionics, so I have to, like, balance that out. I'm going to do that. I always like some balancing um, requirements in games. And I'm going to save that as the default. Um, we're going to be... No, hold on. We're going to be going through this world generation. This is just going to be, like, episode zero. If you want to see actual gameplay, there will be an episode one that I'll upla upload separately. Um, but, you know, we're gonna just kind of, I want to be like, kind of like this, like mutant animal person, like a bear person, kind of like my companion in the last one. So I'm trying to think about, you know, honestly, the monsters, they evolve at, like, it seems to me they evolve a little too fast, but I can handle it. Initial time, day, yeah. We'll do all of this by default. Um, I definitely do want Wander Spawns on, though. This makes the game way better. If you play with that off, I, it seems to me like it's like a completely different game. If you have this on, like you have to be careful about making too much noise because things will wander around. And yeah, it makes for some really cool emergent gameplay. I don't think, I think the only reason you would have that off is like if your computer couldn't handle it. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm going into this having no idea what the name of my, um, we'll go with that, of my person's going to be. <laughs> let's see, let's see what I'm feeling in the moment. Um, hold on. So if I wanted to do a new game, and I want to do a custom character, I want to use this world settings. Yep, just made that world. Yeah, there's so much customization that you can do in this game. It's absolutely bonkers. Like, if you don't like something about the game, it's very easy to tweak, and there's probably a mod for it, essentially. <laughs> um, no point limits are enforced. I like having a single pool. It's just... I've always liked having characters that have high stats and then just leveling up their skills. Um, I did want to become like a mutant person, so I was thinking I could do a lab start. Like the experiment. <laughs> or high tech, low life. Nah. I think that we're going to go with experiment and try and break out of a lab. I'm going to try and do it. it says, scenario locations is wilderness. Oh, <laughs> so that's like that starts you in the woods. Where's the lab start? Oh, it's the challenge, right? Okay. Migo camp. Oh, yeah, that's that's a tough one. Um, the lab staff or patient. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to be a patient. We're going to see what we can get. 
points wise. I haven't done this actually before. Um, an unwilling mutant or a volunteer. That's funny. Um, oh wait, hold on. You can be a lab technician even if you're one of the mutant ones. Okay, whatever. Hold on. I thought lab patient. If you're a lab patient, how come you can have that? Um, so I can have a little bit of chemistry and electronics knowledge or just be really dumb. I think we're going to want to have some of this. Oh, we're going to be a volunteer. Yeah, give me superpowers. I signed up for the government superpower program. Unwilling is a lot harder. Like if if you want to give yourself a challenge, we're going to go like kind of like not that smart. <laughs> we're actually going to go like punchy, dude. I tend to not do that. I, I think it'll be kind of fun. We'll do maybe something like that. Oh, actually, here are our mutations. We we probably want to um, maybe lower that strength and go with some mutations. Oh my gosh, the mutations here. This is like so overwhelming. Can I like search this? Is there a way to like do a search? No, it doesn't look like there is. <laughs> Um, if I want to be a bear person, let's see. God, there's so many options. It is seriously overwhelming. Um, it might be good to have the martial arts training, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do... Gosh, there's so many things. <laughs> wait oh this is like traits and these are mutations is that what that no these are the negative these are the positive okay i want to have like i'm not really seeing stuff like yeah i kind of want tough and maybe earth sign vision <laughs> that Maybe some whiskers. <laughs> no, let's get Earth sign vision. We'll be able to see in the dark and we'll be a little bit extra tough. Um, <laughs> anything else? I don't know if there's anything else. Robust genetics, I think we're definitely going to want because we're going to be trying to mutate <laughs> a fair amount. Um, oh, we could hooves and stuff, those are negatives. Oh, wow, this is great. I want hooves. Give me hooves. Give me, oh, if I can start off with like the traits like this. Oh man, we're gonna have a pretty insane character here. Anything else like the hooves that I can get? Um, and ponderous is kind of like what we're going for. Rigid table manners. That's a funny one. And we could get strong scent. Don't they smell rather strong? Yeah, they probably do. We'll get ugly as well. Oh my gosh, you can be super overweight or underweight. That's funny. Um, get tentacle arms. That's funny. It's so ridiculous. Some of these things are just so, so good. I think that that's gotten me a lot of points. Is there anything else that I want? I think Optimus might be good for us <laughs> being stuck in the lab underground. Yeah, I need that. Um, that also is, I mean, I'd rather have something that would be useful all the time. Let's get fleet footed. Let's do it. We're gonna go for that. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna be like dodging and grabbing and doing stuff like that. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. And then we could get. Oh, we could. 
Oh, we can metabolize alcohol. Oh, man. Okay, we've taken too many advantages. That would probably be good for, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that that's probably pretty good that way. Skills. This is the one situation where I think having a little bit of skills might be useful, like being able to lockpick. Does that cost? Yeah, that costs one. I feel like having a little bit of like combat would be also good, but we'll see. We'll see if this is good enough. <laughs> I think that it will be. I I like that we are good at chemistry. Maybe having some more electronics would be good. Yeah, let's get a little bit more electronics. Um, and let's see what RNG gives me. Mildred slows Stanford. Okay, that's that's just too ridiculous. How they got the. Um, all these nicknames. They're, they're funny, aren't they? I mean, some of them are good. Oh, I should have gone with the indie guy. Bootsy. All right, Bootsy, we're going with you. Lauren Bootsy Cameron. I have no idea why you're called Bootsy, but we're going with you, Lauren. You're going to be the next one. 36, okay. You are a volunteer mutant who's like super strong, fast, and like has hooves. Um, good luck. <laughs> um, and then I can have starting locations or I can select them. Um, cell lab, bomb of the lab, frozen science lab. Ooh. Deep frozen science lab. If we're in a deep frozen science lab, I don't think we're getting out. <laughs> we'll go with the RNG though and see how this how it treats us. Um, I think though that this would be the point where it starts it though. I'm gonna actually hold on, save the template for this character. All right, Bootsy. This one's named after you. Oh, and actually, hold on. I can actually change their age and height and stuff oh that's funny can i actually change it yeah i could i could make it so you're a donor or an acceptor i mean you're gonna now be able to um take all types of blood right ab minus isn't that it i've forgotten to be honest isn't yeah there's like oh minus oh, yeah i've forgotten it to be honest We'll go with that is the default. I know that O is the universal donor, right? I don't know. I'm saying I know and I don't know. <laughs> yes. All right, let's build the world and see what we got. And then we'll, we'll end our episode zero and, and start something real. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been Orange One.